What's up, brothers? What's up, leaders? You pastors having to make some amazing decisions. That's on my heart a lot lately. All the pandemonium that's going on. Some of you got churches to pastor. You got families you're taking care of, jobs you're working. Look at this. Every morning, every day. It's crazy. You have seven puppies, and you don't know which ones to keep because they're all so stinking cute. Just wanted to remind you, get your heads up, man. We're good. We were built for this. Coronavirus. Yeah, and it's tough for me because I don't trust anybody. I don't trust the government. I don't trust the media. And so I'm not like over-the-top conspiracy theorists. I believe the coronavirus is true, but I do know it's like one of the politicians said, you never let a, a crisis go to waste. It doesn't matter how you look at it. I don't care where the virus came from, the Wuhan province, a lab. I, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. There's people getting sick. It's real deal. You have to make decisions about church, church attendance, canceling churches, services, things like that. Just do what you got to do, man. Uh, if you're like me, you're reading the Facebook feeds and it drives you crazy. But uh, for some of you fathers, maybe you're not even a pastor or whatever. Maybe you're not a preacher. But you're a little nervous too, you know, because a lot of us don't have a lot of money stored up. I mean, we got a little bit maybe in savings if you even got that, you know. And so I know that you're a little bit concerned. I want you to remember that God's got us. And God's people have been through way more than this, way worse than this. And... I'm not telling you that everything's going to snap back to place and everything's going to be perfectly copacetic. I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you that God is with you and God is in you and God's got you and you're a protector, you're a provider, you are a man of God, you're a man of faith, and God is going to take care of us. He's going to provide for us. He's going to take care of our families. We're going to do the best that we can. We're going to work. We're going to labor. We're going to toil. We're going to pray. We're going to teach our children what faith looks like in crisis. And you are not going to buckle. I know you're worried. And I know that we act like we're not. Dude, you got this. All right? If there was ever a time for the light to shine, it's when things are the darkest. We're the light of the world. We're a city that's set on a hill. Cannot be hid, right? Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. We have an opportunity here to teach our daughters what men of faith look like. We have an opportunity here to teach our sons what real men of faith look like, all right? To lead our wives. Maybe you're a single mother watching this. I know sometimes even when I make videos toward the brothers or sisters watch it, Maybe you're a single mother. You got this. Mama's daddies, we good. God's got us. And if you lost and you listen to this, you need to take it just a moment here. Recognize that everything can crumble in a second. That's why we in the church are preaching that we're just pilgrims passing through. Strangers. This world is not our home. I'm getting ready to go. You know? Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Of the, all that's in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, I think the scripture teaches us. So that's that. We're going to be good. All right? Get your head up. Can I pray for you real quick? All right. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all the fathers and the husbands out there, all the young men. I pray for everybody, you know, parents, mothers, daughters, single mothers, singers, uh, uh, single mothers that are just struggling, trying to get through, that you give us faith and courage in this time of trouble and chaos. We love you. Let us show the world what it looks like to be a Christian in the middle of pain and suffering and confusion. Let us not be confused. Let us be strong. Let us be anointed. Let us walk in faith, not fear. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Thank you, Jesus. We pray it in your name. Amen. One more time. Watch this. Isn't he crazy? What's up with y'all? Hmm? This one right here. This one. I'm calling her Boots. She's mine. I like boots. Hey, peace out.